Welcome back to this edition of our show from Logo to Impact. Now, at a time that we are talking about how e-commerce companies are growing, there is an e-commerce company that has made inroads when you talk about tele-shopping, and the one that you're talking about is Snapdeal. They've been in the business of tele-shopping for about 10 or 11 months uh, with the uh, then Snapdeal uh, TV shop network uh, that they've got going for themselves. And Manish Goel, CEO of the company, is joining us on the show to tell us more about this. So I'm looking at uh, the kind of numbers that uh, you have been able to gain over a very short period of time. So one wonders where the real business is. Is it e-commerce or is tele-shopping you know, really complementing or is it actually competing? with what you're doing on the e-commerce space clearly com complementing each other mm -hmm. uh, because we you know we, dif we address the dif you know different segments in the market e-commerce is all about uh, you know the large cities the the connected people TV shopping addresses the needs of people who have resources who are available who are available in markets where internet has not reached as much or they're not you know comfortable shopping online and that's where they find uh, you know TV as an engaging medium TV which informs them uh, about a lot of products, its utility, you know, how it's used in the real life. Uh, you know, we do a whole bunch of things to explain, sure. uh, you know, how these products help them in their life and so on and of so course. forth. I mean, value of television is something that I discuss with advertisers so much on this show itself because uh, the efficiency of the medium, that hasn't vanished despite the growth of digital, etc. That hasn't gone away. So it's interesting that you're looking at this space uh, so closely and you've tied up with a cable network to be able to do that. While many others have gone the route of existing channels and buying time slots on it, you've decided to tie up with a cable network. So tell us what the thought process was even uh, when you started. All right. So, um, you know, others, you know, do a lot of slot buying. So they're not a 24 bar 7 channel. We wanted to launch a 24 bar 7 channel and the biggest difficulty any broadcaster would face is to, you know, get distribution reach across, you know, every single home, Indian home that you have there. Den uh, has about 13 million homes that they reach out to. So we get that, you know, by default. But other than that, Den has strategic relationships with everybody. They understand the market. They know where the consumers are. They know where the buying power is. And therefore, our ability to reach out to those homes and, you know, make the right decisions as to which home to go to, what price to pay for, you know, reaching there, you know, is far, far better than anybody in the competition. Right. And that makes sense. Absolutely. So then once you have established this uh, partnership and now that you're 10 to 11 months into it, in terms of uh, return on investment so far, how's it looking? How are the numbers really panning out? So, you know, when one thinks of e-commerce, you, you, you basically imagine burning a lot of cash, you know, either advertising or discounting or, you know, creating, you know, huge capacities and resources and not being able to, you know, leverage that well. But our philosophy has been totally different. We decided from day one that, you know, we will go step by step in terms of investing into various resources, various infrastructure, only and only when we see returns. So be distribution at work where we started with 4 million homes and now we reach about 50 million homes. So we graduate, gradually increased our distribution reach as we see, you know, sales coming in. Similarly, on production side, the content production, we have not yet set up our own studios and we outsource a lot of uh, work, which actually works out well for us from a cost efficiency standpoint. Um, you know, Snapdeal being one of our parent companies, we leverage a lot of strengths from them and we haven't really built a lot of, you know, capability in-house to do either sourcing or logistics and things like that. Right. So if you look at the whole thing, you know, we have been able to use our money, our capital very, very efficiently and with very small, you know, amount of money, we have built a 400 crore business, you know, in about 10, 11 months. 400 crore rupee uh, business in 10, 11 months, that doesn't sound too bad. So in that sense, uh, the size of the market right now, what's your assessment of it? Because through a cable network, as large as, a, as DEN may be right now, uh, it is giving you a limited kind of access uh, to the kind of potential that India as a market has. So what are the chances that you're going to expand this? And if you are going to expand, then are you going to take the cable uh, distribution route or are you going to look at, uh, again, buying into channels? All right. So first, we're not just available on DEN. We're available, available on about 25 different cable operators, which includes Fastway, City Cable, INC, NL, and a whole bunch of others. Right. We have recently started, uh, you know, growing on the DTH network as well. So we are on, uh, you know, Reliance. We are on Videocon. We are on Dish. So clearly, we're not going to restrict our reach. So, like I mentioned, we have about 50 million homes that we currently reach. Um, I think, uh, you know, we 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 plan to get to about 100 million in next three to four months' time. So in that sense, the pace of growth is much faster. Uh, what are the chances that you are going to be uh, directing your resources uh, uh, at the point in time that people are looking only at like 
going the app only route is there going to be more concentration on television as opposed to the many other routes that you could be taking to expand your business all right so you know clearly it is t-commerce it's t it's on tv right but we won't you know restrict ourselves to doing only tv i think technology can help us in a big way uh, QVC in the U.S. does uh, about six billion dollars of business. India overall, all the players put together, does only one billion. So in a market which is very, very internet, you know, uh, penetrated, heavy, everybody has reach. Yet QVC is able to do six billion dollars of business annually. Right. How did how did how they do it is they, uh, you know, take use of uh, the TV uh, strength, obviously, but they also you know leverage their rich content across various mediums, be it the you know website or the mobile apps or anything else like that and we plan to you know leverage all of that in our business as well so clearly you will see in times to come you know we coming up with a website as well as apps right in terms of categories what's really working out for you are what's selling more and what isn't I think the trends are fairly in line with what e-commerce experiences so you know we have access to data in Snapdeal and electronics you know seems to be the biggest category there and so is the case with us uh, followed by fashion because that's the category which gives us you know the highest margins sure. and then comes the home category right so then uh, you know in terms of category expansion because there are opportunities out there as well because uh, you know in recent times I've even seen yachts being put up online to be right, sold okay. but you no, know. so you know uh, coming from the philosophy that up you know parent company snapd follows they're selling automobile they're selling real estate they're selling everything under the sun right. okay i think we're going to do pretty much the same so we are already doing insurance for about six months so we sell mediclaim okay uh we have done electric scooters in the past uh soon we're going to come up with you know holiday packages and club memberships and things like that so i think innovation is the name of the game and there's fair uh, amount of uh, parity in terms of prices uh or for the kind of products that you're selling on an e-commerce site uh, like a Snapdeal, okay. if I'm going to come so on the desktop and if I'm going to buy it on television? You know, e-commerce prices vary a lot. There is a lot of dynamism based on, you know, what others are selling at, what, you know, sellers are going to offer for very limited inventory if they want to discount and so on and so forth. So their prices will, will be dynamic. But our prices are by and large firm. We do not have ability to move them a lot. Mm -hmm. And there is really, so our business is not a comparison-led business. That's one. Second, I think uh, from the point of view of uh, the average selling price, internet does a uh, lot of high value sales as well as a lot of low value, low ticket size sales as well. So, you know, you can buy a pen drive for 200 bucks. We do not sell products in that range. Right. It just does not work for us. So for us, the average or the sweet price point would be about 1,500 to 2,500. Right. So if that is the case, uh, yeah, uh, you know, to be able to grow that kind of market, uh, what is the strategy that you're employing to engage more viewership? You know, we have not done any active marketing so far. Um, everything that we communicate to our audience is on our own platform. What we have seen is if I have a Independence Day sale coming up or a, you know, anniversary that we just had, you know, from the launch date or at least the pilot date, or Diwali or anything, we come up with some offer. Okay, right. we communicate on the channel and we see huge response. Now, going outside of this, um, you know, we tried doing some things, uh, but in specific markets, we did not see impact because we did only for a short period of time. Like what? Um, so we launched a campaign in Punjab and Karnataka, right? Uh, where we went on TV, on print. However, uh, you know, the messaging was, you know, a very simple messaging that we exist beyond going to say that you know we're discounting or you know the, the proposition that you stand right. for, right. things like that. Fair enough. And this festive season, how has that worked out for you? Or have you seen the? Uh, uh, an upsurge in sales both October and November so we launched a one month long Diwali sale um, we offered customers about a crore uh, worth of prices which were to be one over 30 days and you know you will have about 20 to 50 guys winning prizes sure that you know brought a lot of goodness to us you know there is competition you can't take that away and you are a last mover in this kind of space so as far as uh, competition is concerned how do you think this is actually uh, going to work out for you uh, let me answer this differently, okay? Uh, pretty much uh, the three large players, uh, Home Shop 18, Shop CJ and Aptol, they've been in the business for five plus years. Correct. Okay, uh, I don't think, barring Aptol to some extent, uh, the other two players have seen much growth. Uh, however, we have been able to gain quite a lot of ground. Uh, with very basic setup, uh, setup that we have, 
with very basic approach that we have taken in the business. So if we start making progress in the kind of products that we bring in, in the kind of you know brands that we work with, in the way we position ourselves and we increase our distribution reach, I don't see a reason why we'll not overtake you know at least two or three players and take the leadership position. So that's one. Two. Um, I think uh, the only thing which has worked for you know Naptol in, in this period is that they have actually worked very hard on you know taking their uh, programming to you at any place that they can find. So, however, in my view, that's not a very capital in, uh, you know efficient way of you know running business. Right. So at some point of time, I think they should uh, feel the heat. You know, other than rather than discounting the products, they're spending money on distribution. Okay. Which, which you know, may not have very, very sustainable long-term value. Right. And since we talked about uh, categories, I also want to ask you in terms of uh, you know being able to partner with private labels as well, because uh, the margins over there would be that much higher. So, is that a good route to take? Because there are several ways in which you can beat the competition. So, where is the strategy on that count? Home shopping is all about you know quality products yet delivering value. Private labels play a huge, huge role in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're trying to work with a small, uh, you know, manufacturer or an importer who can actually source great quality products at a price which actually makes sense for you as a business and the consumer because you know they find value, good quality product, and they don't have to shell out uh, the money for what they will for established brands. Right. So the strategy clearly works. Now, how do you ensure? that you know the brand gets established over time how do you ensure the quality is consistent how do you ensure you know uh, there is no issue in your relationship with the seller and you know everything works well over time so i think uh, we are working with a couple of guys and we should come out with a cup you know we should come out with a couple of private labels that we can you know establish on our channel so that's an important part of the business and oh, you'd absolutely. like to grow that in the future without, as well without a doubt right manish good luck uh, going ahead with uh, the entire network that you've got going for yourself and 10 to 11 months are the kind of numbers that we are seeing. Seems like there is a lot of promise in it. Uh, thank you indeed for joining us. Uh, thank you so that. much. Thank and you. with that, we'll take a very quick breather here on this edition of the show. Lots more coming up on the flip side.